I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we shall carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, make me to know my end and the number of my days that I may be certified how long I have to live. Behold, Thou hast made my days as it were a span long, and my age is even as nothing in respect of thee. And verily every man living is altogether vanity. For man walketh in a vain shadow, and disquieteth himself in vain. He heapeth up riches and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly, my hope is even in thee. For I am a stranger with thee and the sojourner, as all my fathers were. Lord, Thou has been our refuge from one generation unto another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even the earth and the world was made, Thou art God from everlasting. And world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday. Seeing that is past as a watch in the night. The days of our age are threescore years and ten. And though men be so strong, that they come to four score years, yet is their strength then but labor and sorrow and we are gone. So teach us to number our days yes, 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 yes. that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end.
friends, you may be seated. Eternal and everlasting, and everlasting thou art God, maker and creator of every good and perfect view. God, we come now at this appointed hour. We come in this prayer of invocation with an open invitation. We invite you, O oh God, to allow your spirit to move in this place. Touch the hearts and minds of this family. Give them the peace and comfort that only you are able to give. God, we invite you to this service that this will be a service that you will be well pleased with. We invite you to pour out your spirit fresh upon us this day. So much so that we may feel your presence and know that you are God and God alone. And we'll forever be in thy gratitude to lift your name with praise, honor, and glory. But we ask it all in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name we pray. And the children of God say, Amen. Our scripture reading comes from the 23rd Division of Psalms. That David declared, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The 23rd Division of Psalms in its entirety. Following the Services as outlined with our prayer of comfort by Pastor Wright, with a selection by Teresa Allen, then words of comfort by Bishop Hamright. Bow with me in prayer. Thou hast been my help in time of need. Thou hast been my sanctuary, my care and my comfort. Lord God, we lift up this family in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. That your comfort and your care 
began to soothe their aching heart. God, this is not something that we can fix, but your word declared is but a point of time for us. So help us, oh God, to make good time. Help us, oh God, to share, to love, to care. In this time of bereavement, let it not be a song, but a remembrance of a life well lived. A life of joy, a life of smile. Let us remember the lessons taught by our brother. That it may continue on to generations to come. We ask now, God, that you will begin to work the work that you only your hands can do. Speak up to our hearts. Let us know that we've been men dual for a night. The joy will come in the morning. When the phone call stop and we receive no message, let us hear your still voice and say, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. So God, we thank you now thank you. for being with this family. We ask you in the days to come that you be a friend that stay closer to a brother. Love deeper than mothers. Guiding force more than a father. Be God. And we'll be ever so grateful. To give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory forever and ever. And the children of God say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and bless the Lord in this room. For God is worthy to be praised. I said, open your mouth to even through your mask. Left those vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry hands. And give God a praise. I think uh, put me in D flat. Uh, I don't sing as much, but it goes. Like this, but I hope I got it. Lord, no, I, I would never imagine that. Uh, Ready? I'll be back here again All right. in such a short time with the same family. Never have had anything like this uh, happen in my ministry. And uh, I was uh, went by and was talking to Shante, and I wanted to know something about Mr. Ingram, my father. And uh, she said uh, he uh, he loved construction, building. And then she she said something that. Uh, Really struck with me. He said he, he loved his family. He, he, he loved, you know, he loved people, no matter what other stuff. Oh, y'all got other stuff too. Don't sit here in the hole. Huh, don't sit here. And when she said love, that thing sat down as Medea said in my spirit. And I said, love. Well, what am I going to say right now? So I, I'm going to need all my vacation Bible school folks and get a head now with this. I hope I'm right, brother, musician. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Hey! Oh,
that thing we just saw, yes, that L-O-V-E thing we just saw, yeah. it's going to be the thing that's going to get you through. Come, come on, come on, squeeze somebody that's right next to you. Give, give them a hug right quick. Come on, squeeze them. Squeeze that hand and do whatever. Come on, express that love. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I prepare to take my seat, I, I want to just leave this word with you from Isaiah 49, 15 through 16. This is God, y'all, speaking through the prophet Isaiah. And God said, can a woman forget her nursing child? Come on now. And have no compassion on the son of her womb. Even these may forget. My, my. But God said, I will not forget you. Somebody need to lift your hands right now and thank God he knows exactly where you are. All right. He knows exactly what you feel. He's not falling away from you, but he knows. Hallelujah. And then the 16th verse, God said, behold, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hand. Your walls are continually before me. Before any human being thought they would come up with tattooing the skin, God said, I put you in the palm of my hand. I want all of y'all to look at your hands right quick. Hallelujah. You see the lines in there, he put them there. You see the skin on there, he put them there. And guess what? You are right now in God's hands. So I come to comfort you today. I come to let you know that love, somebody say, Bishop, what's love got to do with it? I'm glad you asked me what's love got to do with it. Love's got everything to do with it. That's what's going to help you dry your tears, shot. That's what's going to help you. Come on here now. Love is going to help you through this. Dr. Margaret Thoreau said, it was love that held Jesus. Took his robe off and hung it in the wardrobe of eternity. It was love that made Jesus go down to the deep of time and got him a ticket and brought him down through 42 generations. It was love that made Jesus get off one cold night in Bethlehem of Judea. It was love that wrapped him in swaddling clothes. It was love that laid him in a manger. It was love that made him cry like a baby. And it was love that made him play like a child. It was love, Shante, that made Jesus feed like a grocery man. And it was love, y'all, that made him heal like a doctor. It was love that made him go to Calvary. You know what they did? They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head for you and me to die. What was that? That was love. But y'all, that didn't end the story right there, brothers and sisters. The love that's going to get you through this family was the love that got Jesus up on the third day. He arose with all power. Everybody say all power. All power. It's all in his hands. And y'all, that same love of Jesus is going to be the thing that's going to get you through this. But y'all know how we human beings are. Uh, uh, there was an artist uh, back in my day doing the sick, well, back in my day, there was an artist, and uh, his name was Ike Turner. Uh -huh. And uh, Ike had this young lady he married, her name was T. And, and Ike was back in my day, he, he did his thing, and uh, 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 later on, you know, Ike and Tina went through what they went through. Uh, you young folks, y'all don't know nothing about that, so let me talk to us over here that know about that. Uh, some of y'all over here sitting know what I'm talking about. I and Tina went, come up, yeah, I see a hand, okay, I see a hand back there. Uh, I and Tina went through the thing. And so, I, uh, Tina, later on, she, she she went as a solo artist, and, uh, 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 you know, but back in, you know, 89, back in, in the day, uh, she came out with a song, and Tina said, uh, uh, what's love? All right. Somebody talk about it. And Tina, y'all young folks don't know nothing about this. Y'all get to hit your letter. Tina said, what's love? Tina said, what's love? 
But brothers and sisters, I wish Tina was here today so she could shake that leg and I could tell her that love, hallelujah, hey God, has everything to do with it. For God loved us so that even in times of this, he'll still wrap his arms around. I wish I had a witness in here. He'll dry your tears. Hallelujah. And he'll walk right there beside you. And then a few years later, a group out of New Jersey, New Jersey Mass Choir, along with a heavy metal group called Journey, they came out with a song that said, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Y'all, hasn't God shown us time and time and time after time that he loves us? Even in our stupidity, even in our sins, even in our mess ups, talk to me somebody, he still loves us. He didn't have to. And y'all, family, listen, we have a God of love, bro. That's when we're in our hurting time. And nobody else knows. He's able to go down through the mire and the bone, bro. And get to that spot that nobody else can get to. And he'll wipe your tears away. I'm a living witness. Keep living, children. Keep living. All of us are going through time. Whereby we want family. Family can't come. But he loves us so much, brothers and sisters. You know what God will do, my brothers and sisters? He'll move heaven and earth just to come and see about you. I said, He'll move heaven and earth just to come and see about you. Because He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Modeling on the dead. Listen, so long as I know that God loves me. If I know He loves me, I can get through this. If I know He cares for me, I can get through this. Come on, lift your hands and say, I'm going to come. I'm going to make it out of this. Hallelujah. As I get ready to take my seat, God said through Isaiah, Behold, you are in the palm of my hands. Brothers and sisters, family and friends, Brother England has been called home, but you will see it here. And I come to ask this question of you today. What are you going to do with the love that he's given to you? What are you going to do? Am I going to continue the way I am? Or am I going to let his love fall fresh on and create in me a clean heart? You know what people do at funerals? They, they, they're a little, you know, they're a little devious. And devious is, see what they're going to say about it. Because I know this and I know that. And I know this and I know that. And I know this and I know that. Well, you can know this about him. You can know that about him. But God knows all. Okay, sit there. Sit, sit. I'm going to I'm going down your road. See, then you know maybe time long in here. So you didn't say nothing. I'm going to sit right there. I'm going to take five more minutes. Mm-hmm. And when you say something back to me, I'll go ahead and sit on down. I told you, it's on my way to my seat. But you're going to sit there and act all stuck up and sedated. Come on, tell the truth. All of us got stuff to do. What for the blood of Jesus? thinking the other day about that time I was at the Blue Light Lounge, 15 years old, Charlotte, North Carolina, Woodlawn Avenue, in the booth in the back in the corner in the dark. Yeah, me, the bitch. Yeah, I got a past. But glory be to God, I've got a future too. Hey! Hallelujah. Y'all like to talk to black folks to know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Sitting over there, I thought I'd go, Mama, and see what a club was all about. Mama never told me not to go there. My mama was a preacher, grandma was a preacher, then prayed over me. But you go over there, I've been anyway. Sitting over there, went bother nobody in the booth in the back in the corner in the dark. Next thing I know, a gunfight. My Lord, I'm the one sitting over there and it wasn't bothering nobody. I'm there to look. I ain't got a drink to drink. I mean, uh, libation. Now all of a sudden, shooting went to happen. And the two that was fighting was at the door. I was in the back. Fighting bullets coming my way. 
Come on, y'all. Now, I'd already been told not to go there. But I went anyway. And in my stupidity, could have been dead and gone. But in the midst of that, what did it do? Love! I know. Listen, I ain't the only one sitting up in here that's give a testimony about I put myself in some places that only God's love. Got me out of it. So I just want to tell you, he loves you even when you're wrong. You better thank him now that you're right. Brothers and sisters. Yes, Jesus loves me.
man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up like a flower and he flee, is it worth shadow, and never continueth in one stay. In the midst of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor but of thee, O Lord? Who for our sins are justly displeased? Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayers, but spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty, most merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal. Suffer us not at the last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it have pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take unto himself the soul of our departed brother, we therefore commend his body to the place prepared for it, that ashes may return to ashes and dust to dust, and the imperishable spirit, refined as by fire, may forever be with the Lord. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labor. Let us all repeat the Lord's Prayer together in unison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and forever. Amen. Let us look to the Lord and be dismissed from this place. Now may the love of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us now henceforth and forevermore. And the children of God say it. Amen. Amen. Amen.